Hello, everybody, and welcome back to our TeacherCast series on Book Widgets. Book Widgets offers teachers more than 40 different digital exercise templates ranging from self-graded quizzes to interactive maps to even a dynamic digital whiteboard that is quickly accessible on any mobile device, laptop, or desktop computer. In today's video, we're going to learn how to create a widget called a hotspot widget that involves finding an image and adding some interactivity to it. This is a great way to interact with your students both online and also at a digital whiteboard. In order to do that, I'm going to head on over to bookwidgets.com and click on My Account. Inside of your account dashboard, I'm going to click Choose Widget Type and I'm going to choose Hotspot Image. For today's lesson, we're going to teach our students all about the orchestra. And the first thing that we want to do is we want to create and import our background image. I'm going to choose the plus, and I've got a few options here. I can choose an image from my desktop, import from Google Drive, or I can find an image online. Today, I'm going to choose an image from my desktop. Here we have our orchestra background in, and I've got a couple options for resizing it. I can cover the entire area and keep the aspect ratio. I can contain the picture. I can cover the entire area, or I can make it draggable and resizable. You're going to choose whichever works best for your photo. For me, I'm going to keep it as cover entire image and keep the aspect ratio. The first thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to show you what this looks like by hitting preview. And here is my image. The goal for today is to show off all the different parts of the orchestra and have the students be able to click on each instrument and learn something about it. I'm going to click back on this X and the first thing I'm going to do is click on add hotspot. I've got a variety of different options, text pop-ups, web pop-ups, image pop-ups, web links, video, and even audio pop-ups. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to click on text pop-up. A text pop-up is basically the opportunity for a student to click on a button and information pops up in front of them. I'm going to call this one here, violin one. And over here, hotspot marker, it says none hidden. But if I drop that down, I can put an image or a label and I'm going to click on label. Notice over here, it says marker label. And up here, I can even amend this. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to position the hotspot. To do this, I'm going to click on the picture under position. You can see I've got a little bullseye and I'm going to drag this down here over the concert master where we're going to learn more about the first violins and click done. Next thing I want to do is I want to check this out by hitting preview. You'll notice down here we have our hotspot and when I click on it, it provides the text that we just typed in that first violins usually play the melody in an orchestra. Let's click back here and add a second hotspot to do that. I'm going to click on add hotspot. I'm going to create another text pop-up. And for this one, again, I'm going to choose label. I'm going to type in cello. Cellos play low notes in the orchestra. Again, I'm going to click on this. I'm going to come on over here to the cellos. I'm going to click on done. I want it to the right. Excellent. And over here, I'm going to click on preview. You'll notice here we have our hotspot number one and our hotspot number two. Let's do something a little different. I'm going to create a new hotspot. I'm going to do a web pop-up. And here it's going to ask me to have my URL of the website that I want. So let's copy that from another browser. And I'm going to paste that in here right now. It's going to ask us for our width. I'm going to leave this as it is. Where's our marker? Again, we can make it hidden so that way people don't know where they're going to click. They just find it. I can put an image, for instance, a logo. In this case, maybe the New York Philharmonics logo, or I can have a label. Again, I'm going to click on the position. I'm going to add this over here on the top left. Click on done. And under marker label, I'm going to label this as the New York Philharmonic. And where do I want the pop-up? To the right, the left, below, above, or centered. I'm going to say below. 
Again, we have our violins and cellos. And up here, I can click on New York Philharmonic, and it opens up a very responsive New York Philharmonic website. You can see how easy this is to create some dynamic content for our students. Here I am back in the general image, and you'll notice I have all three of my hotspots. It's really easy to duplicate this to make creating this even quicker. I'm going to click on these two boxes here. Notice I have another one that mentions the cellos, but over here I can say, Double bass is even lower than the cellos. And over here, I got to find that double bass section. Notice, it, because I duplicated it, the little hot spot here was on the same mark. So over here, I'm going to find the double basses. I'm going to click on Done. And here, because it's on the right side of the screen, I think I'll make this pop out of the left side. And again, I'm going to click on Preview. I got my violins. I got my cellos, I got my website, and I got my double basses. So the last thing I want to show you is how to share this widget. We've been clicking on the preview screen. To the right of it is a share button. Let's click on this. Book Widgets gives you a variety of different ways to share and distribute your widgets. You can send to Google Classroom, create a Microsoft Teams assignment, provide a QR code, show the teacher link, email it to your students, or also create a short code. One of the things that I like to do is to take this link directly and send it to my colleagues and send it to my teachers. But let's say that I wanted to create an assignment in Google Classroom. All I have to do is click on the button, select the course, and I can even send it directly to Classroom or save it as a draft. It's just that easy to create a widget and to share it with everybody. And that's how easy it is to create a hotspot widget using book widgets. For more information, please click on bookwidgets.com. We're going to, of course, have all the links below. We also have a great playlist on book widgets, and we're going to be linking to it right up above here on the top right. So don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, and check back here often for more great videos from TeacherCast featuring book widgets. On behalf of everybody here on TeacherCast, my name is Jeff Bradbury, reminding you to keep up the great work in your classrooms and continue sharing your passions with your students.